हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू पार्ट 121 ऑफ लारावल 9 सीरीज इन विच वी आर स्टडी द मल्टी वेंडर ई-कॉमर्स वेबसाइट सो वी विल कंटिन्यू वर्किंग ऑन द लारावल डिस्काउंट कोड्स इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू ऐड द कूपंस एंड इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन दैट वी एबल टू जनरेट द कूपंस टेबल एंड वी आल्सो एबल टू ऐड डमी कूपंस ओके सो वी कैन सी इट्स स्ट्रक्चर ओके वी आई हैव एबल टू एक्सप्लेन दिस दिस कूपंस फॉर यू and now in this video we are going to make this coupon module in admin panel okay so now uh, we are going to show this coupon in admin with active inactive status so let's start first of all we are going to create the route i'm going to close the earlier files and going to create its route in web.php file okay so here i'm going to create uh, its uh, coupons route i will do it like this and i'm going to first create its get route to display them in admin panel coupons and we have the coupons controller we have created in the last video coupons controller at the rate of we are going to make the coupons function like this and i am going to open this coupon controller and here i am going to make the coupons function Okay, so here uh, I am going to get all the coupons from the coupon model. I am going to include the coupon model as well. Get all the coupons, and I am going to convert it to to array as well. And uh, we'll also check once with DD shortcut way do and die. And here uh, we are going to. Add use app models coupon. Fine. And here I am going to refresh and uh, going to see here admin coupons. Okay, here you can see we able to add two co coupons last time and now we able to. Uh, have these coupons array okay so it's working fine so we can just simply disable this one and this array of coupons we can return return view admin yeah, under admin we are going to create the coupons folder under coupons folder we are going to create the coupons blade.pp file and in that blade file we are going to return uh, this uh, coupons array that we have just created coupons array okay so now we are going to create the coupons folder inside our uh, sd docs uh, personal ecom9 folder uh, this is my prep folder ecom9 resources views uh, in admin i am going to create uh, the coupons folder here coupons and inside this i am going to create the file and in uh, mac we need to create the file like this touch coupons.blade.php file but you if you are in window you can simply go inside the folder and create new file with this name coupons.blade.php so i will copy the design from some other file like the brands.blade.php file i'm going to copy this one and we'll paste here it will save our time uh, here i'm going to replace the brand with the coupon everywhere okay so i'm going to replace it like this coupon and here as well uh, okay so at all places i will do it like this after that i'm going to make required changes here uh, we require the fields like uh, id after that code is required coupon code uh, okay so after that uh, uh, coupon type is required to copy this one coupon type as well amount and expiry date okay uh, yeah enough uh, id uh, coupon code uh, then coupon type type here. here as well we will add coupon code coupon type and then amount expiry date 
than actions okay and here as well coupon as fine uh, now uh, first one is id that is fine and uh, after that coupon code okay so after that uh, coupon type will come so i will copy this one coupon type so after that uh, amount will come amount uh, coupon amount and that amount type will come based on the um, uh, amount type okay so now uh, we are going to copy one more time like this here uh, first of all coupon uh, that uh, amount will come and uh, we will add here condition uh, like uh, if uh, the coupon amount type is percentage amount score type equal to equal to percentage then we are going to show here the percentage okay else we are going to show INR or dollar whatever your primary currency of your website okay we are going to do it like this fine and after that uh, there uh, is uh, uh, for expiry date as well TD expiry date status and uh, add edit coupon so here one more we require here status okay this one is for the status and this one is for the actions okay so rest everything is fine so we can check once here uh, we can refresh here you can see the coupon has come up two coupons we have added so far and both are displaying here in for its loop okay coupon code test 10 and test 20 single type coupons 10 percent and 20 percent expiry date with status as well as the uh, edit and delete action button okay and you can see here add coupon is also coming at the top uh see now we are required the data table as well so in custom.js file here like we have done for all we required for the data table for the coupon as well we will mention here coupons and refresh here okay and also make sure that we have added here the coupons that is fine and now a table table border and see here now the data table is working fine you can see it is looking fine now okay you can see search will come into play now test 20 cts 20 we able to search okay whatever we write here paging also come up here if there are more than 10 then it will show in paging and also we able to search uh, any of the attribute here okay so now uh, we are going to work on this status uh, as well as the delete functionality okay uh, so we are going to create the route for both we can in fact we are going to copy this route from any of the other routes so it will take uh, save a lot of our time I'm going to copy these two routes because the functionality will remain the same update uh, here it will come uh, update coupon status and delete coupon both we will do together and now uh, here instead of banner now it will come here coupons okay uh, here from here okay so coupon so see here coupons controller fine coupons controller update coupon status and did coupon okay so now uh, we are going to have their functions as well we can copy their functions from any of the uh, controller okay uh, we are going to copy from here both the function we can copy and we can paste it here and then we can make the changes here 
okay we are going to make it coupon and uh, this one as well coupon okay fine and now see we are going to uh, make changes in the custom.js file as well okay we can copy any of the uh, update product status we can copy this one and we can just paste this one and update coupon status and here uh, we are just required to add the update coupon status and other we can just uh, replace the product with the coupon like this and this one is ready we can try now okay so i'm going to disable these two status uh, some issue has come i'm going to check uh, where the issue is coming make sure uh, that there is no issue okay so i am going to try to uncheck and see see it is working fine i think it was not refreshed and now see it is working fine i able to uh, inactive both the coupons and if i want to make active one of the coupon we can also check here status will be zero for this one you can see okay so uh, see status will be zero for the second one and first one is active and second one is inactive fine so if i will both active now so instantly it will active i will click on browse and you can see the it actives both the coupon now okay so it is working fine now see delete will also work fine delete is having the common function and we have already added the delete route and delete function for the coupon and if i am going to try this delete and let's see if i click on this one are you sure you want to delete it so sweet alert we have already added for the delete common okay so it is applicable for all the modules like i have explained to you earlier in this series so if i will click on cancel then it will not cancel uh, then it will not delete the coupon and but if i will click on yes delete it then it is going to delete the coupon you can see it confirms as well and coupon has been deleted successfully okay so we able to show the coupons in data table we able to make the status active or inactive and also we can able to delete the coupons in this video so in the next video we are going to start working on the add coupon functionality those features like i have shown you in the last video we are going to add all the features one by one and also we are going to work on the edit functionality for the coupon after that we are going to see that how the vendor can able to add the coupon for his own products okay so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye